in one of my previous video, I kind of scratched the surface on the reaction between glass and hydrofluoric acid. Since the main focus was on the gold, it did not receive the attention it really deserved. Besides, there was a whole mystery about the white residue it left behind, which in theory should not exist in the first place. So I decided to make a separate video to unravel the mystery, with a better camera angle and all that. Again, I must emphasize the danger when it comes to handling with hydrofluoric acid. This experiment should not be attempted by anyone without formal training. Anyway, without further ado, let me suit up. Due to the poor transparency of high-density polyethylene, I came up with this improvised setup, which will provide the best observation for the reaction. A glass vial will make a great ablation here, as it not only provides the reactant, but also acts as a vessel for the reaction. Even if the acid does eat through the vial, everything should still be contained in the beaker below. I filled the vial with 40% of hydrofluoric acid, and immediately after the addition of acid, a rather interesting phenomenon starting to take place. Mm, okay, the change is a bit subtle. Let me zoom in a little to get a better view. Okay, it's still pretty hard to see with this white background here, but I can assure you something is definitely happening. Let me see what I can do to bring up the contrast. Good thing I happen to have this piece of carbon fiber plate laying around which was for another project that sadly never took off. But turns out it's gonna be handy after all. Looks like the white precipitation appeared once again just like the one we saw in my last video. But since this time I'm doing this in a vial, the precipitation falls down to the bottom of the vial, creating this snow globe effect, which I think is pretty neat. Unfortunately, the snowflake built up rather quickly, as if the reaction stopped moving forward. I decided to remove the content and uh, make a refill. So you guys get to watch it from the start, relatively speaking. Okay, let's sit back and enjoy this beautiful yet dangerous scenery. I decided to leave it overnight. When I came back in the morning, it appeared nothing dramatic had happened. Oh, I did it. The hydrofluoric acid ate a hole through the back, as well as a hole on the bottom. Let me just clean it up a little so we can see it better. The remaining part of the vial felt so fragile, I felt like just by spraying on it, I might snap it in half. And uh, snap it in half it did. 
It happened while I was trying to put it down, and uh, it did not support zone weight and uh, snapped in half. Leave a comment below of what else you want to see about HF. And uh, that's it about this video. Please stay tuned for more of my hydrophoric acid series. A big thank you goes to Daniel Smith and Raphael Wakefield and all my supporters on Patreon. Everyone support me on Patreon get to see my video 24 hours before I put it on YouTube. Anyone support me with $3 or more will have their name listed as you see here. I really appreciate any of your support.